This is the T and Ready practice test for grade five. Question number 26. This used to be in the old version, a part of a larger question that had many sections, but they've cut some of those out and focused it more on content related to the standards for the course, I would imagine. So I'd reshot it just so you wouldn't have to see the old stuff. Mr. Brooks bought the amounts of clay listed for his class. 2.2 kilograms, 1.5 kilograms, 850 grams, 700 grams. How many grams of clay did Mr. Brooks buy? So something super useful in this case would be the reference page. So I've actually brought up the reference page because we have kilograms and grams. Grams and kilograms. So it's the one right here. One kilogram equals a thousand grams. Now, what do you do with that information now that you know it? So there's a couple things. You can handle that one of two ways. What I'm going to do is use a conversion factor, and I can set it up one of two ways. One kilogram is the same as a thousand grams, or I could use 1,000 grams per one kilogram. How I choose to apply those depends on what the question asks me to do and which way I want to convert. They want to know how many grams that he purchased. So this one and this one are good to go. I can just add them. And it's calculator allowed section, so this isn't like this massively complicated situation. You could just use your calculator to add those. The problem is this is not ready to go because it's kilograms and this is not ready to go. So I'm going to put 2.2 kilograms over 1. Now, if I want to get rid of kilograms and turn into grams, it's sort of like if I was doing, I'll do some fraction work real fast. If I multiply these two together, you're probably not ready to multiply fractions. I'm just saying this is how it works. 3 times 1 is 3, or maybe you are. I was keep thinking this is for not for 5th grade, but you probably do this. And 4 times 3 is 12. You reduce it because 3 goes into 12 4 times, and you get 1 over 4. Another thing that you could do incidentally is since this is 3 in the numerator and this is 3 in the denominator, they actually cancel out because 3 divided by 3 is just 1. And since we're multiplying anything times 1 is 1, or any time thing times 1 is itself, I should say. So those actually cancel out, and you end up with 1 fourth. Same thing. So when something is in the numerator and in the denominator, you can eliminate them. That's what we're going to do with the units up here. So since I made... 2.2 kilograms over 1. Why is it over 1? Because anything is a fraction over 1 as long as it's a uh, more of a traditional number. Any integer. So negative 3, which you don't deal with over 1, is going to be negative 3. A million over 1 is just going to be a million. So I can move those back and forth however I want. I can go from this to this anytime. So if you see 2.2 and you need to make it into a fraction to be able to work with it, just put it over 1. It's fine. Now, if it's already a fraction, that doesn't work. Also, 1 third and 3 over 1 are not the same thing because you thought that was a thing. Anyway, I need to get rid of this kilograms, and it's on top. So following my logic before, I need to have kilograms on the bottom. This one doesn't have that, so that's not useful to me. This one does. So all I'm going to do is put this times 1,000 up here and one kilogram down here. Now that I have kilogram and kilogram, the units themselves cancel out. And I'm just left with grams, which I should have written before. Now, I'm going to erase some stuff I don't need. And for some reason, it also erased the one here. Who knows? And now I can make my adjustments. So if I do the numerators, it would be 2.2 times 1,000. I mean, really, you could, it's three zeros, right? So just, that's the nice thing about the metric system. One, two, three, and then just fill in the blanks. So you end up with 2,200. Same thing for, and that's 220, or 2,200 grams. For the 1.5 kilograms, same thing. Make it a fraction times, it's a thousand grams over one kilogram. 
those cancel out. And you can either do, again, it's three zeros, so you go one, two, three, and then fill in the zeros, and you get 1,500 grams. Or, if you want to lean on your calculator a little bit because you finally get to use it, 1,500. Now they're all in grams. Everything's in grams. So this is now ready to go, and so is this. All I have to do is add them together. You're welcome to do those by hand. I don't really feel like emotionally the need to do that. <laughs> so I'll just do all the adding. And end up with 5,250 grams. And that's exactly the way that they want you to answer it because it asks for it in grams and they even highlight it. Don't convert it into kilograms and answer it that way. You have to answer the question they're actually asking you instead of the one you want to answer or at the time you're doing it. Answer how they want you to. Don't go through all of this work and then put the wrong answer there. Be careful. If you're generally quick at math, that means you probably have to, at this point, start going back and checking over things. I typed that in one time. I probably need to type it in a couple more times to make it make sure that I'm correct. If you have the time to do it, if you don't, get to the answer but if you uh, and put it in tentatively and then go back if you have time at the end. So just be smart about how you pace yourself and you'll do yourself a nice service.